Hello everyone, this is me and today we're going to talk about contracts and abyssal contracts. Well, no, today we're going to talk just about contracts. I want to make one video with both uh, contracts and abyssal contracts, but uh, the video is going to be too large. So we're going to split the video in half. This one is about simple contracts, the daily ones you get from uh, the game. So let's start. How can you actually get the contract rights to complete, to accept contracts and then complete them? So let's exit the Amitoy house and um, let's check it out. So every day when the uh, when the dailies refresh, you actually get 10 contract rights from the game. You can actually spend those to accept contracts in any city that has a contract manager. So the cities that have contract manager are um, Castleton, Watcher's Post, the Pure Light Tower, the Vienda Village, the Starlight Observatory, uh, the Sanctuary of Oasis and the Canina Village. So every town or village that actually or place that actually has uh, this icon has a contract manager. Now, apart from your daily 10 contract rights that the game gives you, you can actually get more if you go to your battle pass and uh, to the battle pass star shop, you can actually buy these or these. These are a better deal. So you can spend 300 Zenu star to actually get 10 contract rights and you can get this deal three times and then you can spend 50 to get one so yeah if this is worth it this is not for me personally so let's go back to the game you just right click them and you get the contracts they add up here as you can see i've maxed out my contract rights so when the game changes i'm not going to get the my daily 10 uh, it's going to just uh, skip that day for me. Now let's see what's up with the contracts. You might have seen plenty of guides telling you that you should actually go with the contracts that give you ore. Um, yeah, I actually don't agree with that and I'll tell you why right away. When you go to open dungeons and uh, you're farming the Ab with abyssal tokens, we'll talk what uh, this is in, in the other video, you gather a pretty hefty amount of these ores. You don't have to spend your contract right to get ore. There are other things that you're going to need later down the game and uh, reaching the end game that you, you're gonna be struggling for. One of these items are the rare parchments so you're gonna need those to craft books to craft skill books skill book is one of the best ways to actually increase your cp and um, you're gonna need a lot of books another thing to spend uh, your contract rights in order to get it is this one the rare polish crystal you get very few throughout the game and throughout farming so actually getting 10 of them is a pretty nice uh, it's a pretty nice um, deal you can make. And uh, the third one is the purple pouch. The one you can get items from. This one. So wherever you see the precious blessing pouch, just get it. It's the best thing. It's one of the best things. Every pouch, every pouch in the game is actually amazing. Uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about the abyssal contracts and you'll see why. So, when you see a pouch, just get it. Now you're gonna be like, well, I've never seen a pouch here. That's because you just accept this quest and move on in completing these quests. For me, this is the worst thing to do. And I'll tell you why. The game allows you to refresh this page as many times as you want. But, in order to do so, you have to accept one of the eight contract the game offers you per refresh now i can't refresh if i take one contract i can actually refresh this page in your quest of accepting five contracts or in spending the 10 contract rights you can actually refresh this each time you accept a contract in doing so you refresh the page and there is a chance you're gonna get a tier 2 like this one a tier 2 contract this one gives you more money 
and more coins than the others, as you can see. And sometime, and every time it gives you more of this resource, whether it's uh, polished crystals, ores, uh, parchments, parchments, or whatever it is, the tier of the contract gives you more of this. More money and more coins. So remember to refresh. Now, another thing that guides tell you is to actually not accept any contract and not uh, do any contract while you are um, still leveling up. This is one of the worst things to do in the game, and I'll tell you why. Spending contracts is fine, because they don't have in mind that, that some people don't have enough time to play the game. So with this character, for three straight days, I couldn't actually log in. I hit my cap of 60 contracts and I was bleeding possible contract rights I could actually have, but the game wasn't giving them to me because I've reached my maximum amount. So the tip I'm going to give you is when you reach, when you reach Vienda Village, you should actually spend your contract rights to get the green contracts that give you these the quality lithographs at the moment of making this video the only two places that can give you a lithograph are starlight observatory and vienda village so when you reach 25 yeah don't bother with uh, the starlight but when you reach 20 or 25 and you unlock the vienda village go here and accept only the contracts that give you lithograph why you should do this if you have enough contracts, you can actually create uh, the armor and the pieces you want to exchange and get all of these rewards. So you can uh, craft gear and exchange them to get blue gear. And that's the best way to fully kit your character with early game gear. As you can see here, I've uh, completed some of them. So all of these are crafted through the quality lithographs. I got from doing the contract, uh, the contracts in Vienta. Now, when you reach 50, there are three places that actually give you level 50 contracts. These are the Pure Light uh, Tower, the Watcher's Post, and the Canina Village. So, when you accept uh, contracts in Watcher's Post, the only two regions that the contracts are going to have quests for are Phonos Basin, Ruins, and Ruins of uh, Terrain. In Pure Light Tower, the two places are, Star are Pure Light Hill and Sutter Temple. And in Canina Village, the two places are Grey Cloud Forest and Akiru Valley. If you want to optimize how you actually do your quests, when you refresh and accept quests, you can click on the quests or just take a look at the quests, at the contracts, and see right here the region they belong to. So you can actually only accept uh, contracts in the region you want and if there are none so for example if everything here was in Phonos Basin uh, unless for one then I would pick that one and refresh the page to get more in ruins of terrain but that's up to you that's only a tip so another tip I can give you is this apart from the end village when you reach level 30 or 35 just go and accept the contracts in Sanctuary Oasis. You will get the exact same rewards you're gonna get in level 50 contracts, except for one thing. And that thing is the training due. So when you hit level 35, 38, maybe even 40, the contracts here will give you all the same rewards as the, as the level 50 one, but they will only give you a max of 20k of uh, of uh, training due points and these are points that are going towards your master xp for your weapons so please especially if you don't have enough time or if you're going to spend too much time leveling up your character just do your contracts don't leave them for when you reach level 50 you might never do so why not make your game easier your experience better and enjoy the game for example, this is my character. I just hit level 50. I have 2000 uh, CP, combat power, and this is the gear I have at the moment. That's without spending one Lucian. That's a total free to, be, free to play uh, character. All my characters are free to play. And um, yeah, 
why not do this and be like that? I think this is all about contracts. If you have any other questions about contracts or about anything else, leave it down below in the comments. If you like the video, like the video. And uh, if you like what you see generally, just subscribe to the channel. It really helps. See you at the next video, which we're going to talk about abyssal contracts and everything you need to know about them with some great tips. See ya.